El Shabagi just getting wrong footed there. That was a very strange movement from just kind of Shabagi. got a bit stuck, didn't he? That's reminiscent of one of my movements. Four six. Oh, that's a clever little boast and a great yeah, pickup from Shibagi. Yeah, well, that big is a great call. get from Nine Mohamed five. El Shibagi. Yeah. I mean, he can, he can surprise you from, from anywhere. Six, well, he no went left. the wrong way. This is going to be a no let. Well closed out by Mohamed El Shibagi. 11-8, game two, Shabagi. Wow, oh. <laughs> that was pretty dead. Didn't really go anywhere, did it, that one? It just disappeared, didn't and it? It's the front left. Two. Look at how... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Short... Chance for Farag. Oh, well played. Well played from Farag. He was on to that so early. Oh, Shabagi just slipping there on that shot, but one solitary game ball for Farag. Can he convert? There's the answer, yes he can. Strong response from Ali game Farag in the second game. One game all. El Shabagi still looking incredibly focused. That's a very good line high up from Farag. Tend to get in each other's way a bit more on the forehand, don't they? They do, but, then, but they do often just sort of skim past each other as well. Wow. Got it. Mike got this. He got it. Both players requesting that we look at it. I think he yeah. got that. Yeah. I think Bounced he got his it right underneath it. Yeah, that was fine. 6-5. Take that. Just hearing the grunt and the groan of Farag trying to get that high volley. He's really Whoa. putting the pressure on here. Well, that's an incredible volley from Farag. Oh, look how relaxed Farag is on this. Well, how's the movement from El Shabagi? Yeah, he's digging. Wow. wow. Another amazing rally between these two. <laughs> Farag had to pluck out four winners in total to actually win one and point there. Seven all. Wow, the crowd absolutely love him. That is great oh, touch. Oh, wonderful that stuff from Farag. great touch. Basically, he's just taken all the sting out of the Shabagi cross court. He's, he's stepped across and just Nine opened the racket face and guided that ball in. That's a perfect straight drop shot on the forehand. Such tight work from both players. Fantastic lines, great reactions. Again, down the middle. Body of Mohamed Al Shabagi, but he's reacting so well. Oh, he won't get that there. Oh, what he won't touch. get that. That's unbelievable. Good. How good. good is that touch from good. Farag? Mohamed El Shabagi asking for a new ball eight. at the end game of that game. Wow. I can't believe it. Wow. I mean, El Shabagi has just absolutely rolled that. 
Didn't bounce, I don't well, think. Well, he needed to, didn't he? <laughs> it's that pickup oh, there, full on dive. And then this one. Yeah. Absolutely incredible retrieving, Three but look all. at that. There you go. Stop getting the ball back. <laughs> so a four point lead for Farag. Do you reckon, do you think, um, do you think Farag will start to get edgy or do you think he'll just take it in stride? I don't think he will. Oh. <laughs> look at that, I mean, that's, there's the answer. Well, that is sublime <laughs> from Farag. He's Seven got enough four. experience now at the top level to wow. not get nervous. Eight, nine. I do think, uh, obviously, we, we, myself and Joey take the mick a little bit about the line talk, but the in, I think what you're saying about initial movement is very important. That is a great shot from Shabagi. Nine all. That's what we said, you only have to give him an inch and all of a sudden he's straight back. What kind of decibel level will, will we hear if uh, Shabagi wins this game? I think he might just break the sound barrier. These are always Stroke tough, aren't they? That, going was, for that was almost identical to the one against Nick Matthew in Qatar, stroke, remember? I think this is going to remain as a stroke, you know. The quality of the shot is not good enough and uh, is completely in the way of the shot there. Well, there you go. It remained as a stroke. stroke so to Shibagi. Mohamed Al Shabagi coming Decision back from the hell. drink there. Four three. Just incredible stuff. Look at the how early Farag's taking the ball here. The whip hitting is just so accurate, so precise. Down. Yeah. Well, I don't think there's anyone better in the game at that shot at the moment than Mohamed El Shabagi. Yeah, short backswing, just five. Hits the ball so low from a short backswing. Just gets it bounced twice it. so yeah. quickly. Great change of direction from Farag. Well, you guessed wrong there. El Shabagi is on fire. So five match balls for El Shabagi. Well, he's going to go absolutely bonkers. Well, he's going to get this. it there. Stroke to Shabagi. Fight! Fight! And there it is. Huge fight from Mohamed El Shabagi. He is clinging on in in this tournament. There's two to five setters he's had now. Three games to two. 11, well, both eight, players nine, having a 11, word with each other. 8 11, 12 10, 11 5. I fight till the last point in my whole life. I'm gonna fight from the first point in my career to the last point of my career. Whether I'm gonna be having a bad season or if I'm having a good season, I'll always keep fighting for the rest of my life. And that's the quality of maybe, uh, maybe the only thing that I know to do best. And uh, no matter when I was 2194 down, you know, uh, I didn't wanna lose with that kind of body language. I told myself, lose, but just fight till the last point. And uh, if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't come, you're gonna go out with no regrets. So. Luckily, maybe he lost a little bit of concentration in the fourth game for sure because no one from 2-1 down and 9-4 up, I can't say it was all about me. Of course, he helped me a little bit, you know, with losing focus. But I have to say, you know, uh, the quality of the match was so high. It's a kind of quality you, you can't see in a quarter final of a major tournament. I thought that's the kind of quality maybe in a final or a semis, but to be fair, you know, that's the best match we've ever played against each other. And, God, and who knows, you know, I think we're going to keep killing each other for the rest of our careers like that. <laughs> I'm sure you will.